actually we had 4.3 inches of snow over the weekend and of course it was cold yesterday our high temperature six degrees shattering the old record of 14 back in 1978 we've never stayed any colder than 14 on the 3rd of March so record there and then another record this morning minus five out at the airport breaking the old record of minus three also set 41 years ago so this truly is unprecedented cold for Denver in early March and it's cold throughout the northeast half of Colorado. Notice not nearly as cold in the mountains. In fact, many mountain areas actually a little warmer than usual for uh, early March. Gunnison, 28 degrees versus minus four officially a DIA right now. Minus 11 in Akron, minus 13 in Greeley. Luckily, there's not a whole lot of wind, but there is some, especially in northeast Colorado, and that is causing brutal wind chills. Dangerous, in fact, minus 30 in Akron, minus 32 up in Kimball. So as you can imagine, we have wind chill advisories and warnings that continue for northeast Colorado, western Nebraska, and southeast Wyoming, including Cheyenne and Laramie, through this morning. Later today, highs will get into the upper teens to near 20 degrees in Denver, 20s and 30s in the mountains. So a big inversion in place again. Again today, mountain areas will once again be warmer than Denver and those of us here at lower elevations. Tomorrow, the Arctic air finally starts to lose its grip on our weather. We'll get out of the deep freeze tomorrow with highs in the mid-30s. Still some snow falling in southern Colorado, south of Pueblo, and then over in the San Juan Mountains. As we go way out into the Pacific Ocean, we see our next storm system spinning way off the coast of California. It's going to take a couple days for that storm to get here, but once it does, we'll start to see some snow back in our mountains coming up tomorrow night. We're talking about accumulating snow here. Sure, between now and then, there could be a few flurries, but the accumulating Accumulating snow will wait till tomorrow night into Wednesday, and by Wednesday night, it's possible we could get some snow here along the Front Range, especially for our friends in northern Colorado. Fort Collins, you could see some light snow, for example, coming up Wednesday night. For Denver, I really don't think we'll see much more than flurries. We'll keep you posted. Again, most of the snow will be north, but look at the temperature trend. 30s tomorrow, 40s on Wednesday, 50s by Thursday, and Friday, some weather models are suggesting 60 degrees. I know Andrea is excited about that. <laughs>